last couple of classes we have studied watt meters and energy meters. Okay. So, in this video in this class uh, we will talk about connection of watt meter and energy meter in a three phase uh, lines. Okay. So, this will we will also do some recapitulation. So, essentially energy meter and watt meter uh, they have some common commonality between them. So, energy meter or a watt meter is functionally a black box which will have two inputs. Okay. Uh, so, a voltage input Can so this this can be the voltage input. So we call this the pressure coil, and so you have to connect the voltage. Uh, you have to apply some voltage across it, and there will be another coil, which will sense some current I. This we will call the current coil, and this is uh, common for both energy meter and watt meter. For energy meter, okay, first for watt meter, the reading, so the reading of the watt meter is proportional to the average value of the product of this current and this voltage. Okay. So, if we apply a voltage V, okay, then the current that will flow through this is V divided by the impedance of this circuit and if we pass some current I, then the reading is proportional to the average value of V T I T this is power and for energy meter the reading will be proportional to the integration of this product over time which is the energy consumed within this time. Okay. So, essentially both of them are quite similar the only difference between them is that. So, both of them take the product of V and I the watt meter after taking the product calculates the average and the energy meter after taking the product calculates the sum. This calculates the average, this calculates the sum, that is the difference. So, the connection of an watt meter or an energy meter will therefore be similar. So, the connection of watt meter and energy meter is always similar. Okay. So, if I have a single phase uh, let us recall. So, if I have a single phase supply with a load okay, then if I want to measure the uh, power consumed by this load or delivered by this source okay we will take the watt meter or the energy meter if you want to measure power then watt meter else energy meter so it will have two coils just like this 
okay now this current coil this you connect in series and this you connect across uh, like this okay uh, ignoring the uh, uh, small error due to this uh, the fact that the voltage measured by this is right now uh, the sum of this voltage this voltage drop plus this voltage drop so for now let's ignore uh, the the small drops or the uh, uh, the errors that we have discussed in detail so for now ignore that so for that we can have compensating uh, mechanism compensating watt meter so this is ignoring for now ignoring the small connection errors okay so for now for the ease of understanding you are ignoring small errors okay but those are there definitely there okay now suppose i have okay this is pc pressure coil okay now suppose i have a three phase supply and a three phase load okay uh before okay there is an, another important uh, another important thing i must mention uh, which is the reading of a watt meter on a, or a energy meter can be either positive or negative depending on the connection okay so for example if in this if this same circuit okay i uh, connect it so let me just give uh, some names call this terminal 1 2 3 and 4 okay this is terminal 1 terminal 2 terminal 3 and terminal 4 now if i had connected possibly uh, like this so this is the watt meter this is terminal 3 4 1 2 this is pressure coil this is the current coil okay so i have just reversed the uh, termin terminal terminal 1 and 2 okay so now if previously the current was like this so it was flowing from terminal 2 to terminal 1 now this current is flowing from terminal 1 to terminal 2 so in the current coil the direction of the current is changed okay so therefore uh, and and this current is in the same direction this current is in the opposite direction this current is in the same direction so the torque deflecting torque will be in the opposite direction and therefore if this reading is positive then this reading will be negative or if this reading is negative then this will be positive so the this two will have opposite signs will have opposite sign of reading okay so sometimes we may have a watt meter uh, which Uh, whose dial whose pointer can move say only in uh, one direction okay it cannot go to the other direction because 
the other there, there may not be any room for the pointer to move to the other direction it can move only in one direction then if we connect the coils in in a manner so that the reading is uh, negative the pointer will indicate zero okay and in that case we have to reverse the connection so that the pointer now indicates a uh, positive reading only okay so uh, that is important and so sometimes we uh, the pointer cannot go to the negative side I and mean, there is no place to go uh, to the negative side and then the pointer gives only zero and therefore you have to reverse the connection of either the current coil or the pressure coil sometimes we have a symbol okay so sometimes we have a symbol uh on this pressure and current coil indicating how to connect and this symbol and convention this can vary different instruments have dif uh, different conventions so do not uh, memorize this thing Uh, this is only for our knowledge and common sense uh, the most important thing i was saying uh, in engineering common sense is common sense okay so uh, so sometimes i'm just giving an example do not memorize it okay so watt meters can have uh, marking like this so if these are the two coils pressure coil and current coil so they may have a plus minus sign on this side on one side of the uh, pressure coil and a plus minus side on the on one side of the current coil indicating that if you apply a higher voltage on this side compared to this okay so if this voltage uh say if this point is at 5 volt this dc for ease of understanding this point is at 3 volt okay then that means current is actually flowing like this and at the same time if you connect this coil in such a way that current also flows through the plus my i mean entering through this symbol leaving through the other other terminal and here this symbol marked side is positive then the read, so with this connection the reading will be positive the reading is positive okay so if you connect this meter in an opposite way such that uh, you have 5 volt 3 volt but now the current is going in the opposite direction in this coil entering through the this side and leaving through this symbol side then we'll have minus negative reading okay so if this is 5 volt this is 3 volt but current is entering through this will have negative reading similarly say if we have if we connect like this so that this current is entering through this so i'm using now blue color and say this side is at uh 2 volt and this side is at 3 volt okay that means this is at half potential then this will give negative reading okay so sometimes this type of conventions or this type of symbols are used once again do not at all try to memorize this thing the uh, i will what i will suggest you is that whenever you see a new instrument in your lab or in your workplace 
try to see are there any symbols, is there any manual, go and read uh, the manual. If there is any symbol, apply your common sense and try to understand what they may mean. Do some small experiment, apply some known voltage and current and see whether the pointer is moving to the positive direction or uh, to the negative side. Do some small experiments before you put that uh, in use or if you are in a job, you are, so you have other people who also use the same uh, instrument, go and ask them what is the convention. Uh, how to connect it so that it gives positive reading. Do not memorize anything, apply your common sense, read the manual, ask other people, uh, to your seniors, to your instructor, uh, like that, but have the common sense, that is important. Okay. So, now let us move to three phase uh, watt meter connection. Okay. So, for now, uh, for ease of understanding, Uh, I will once again, I will ignore the small uh, connection errors which we discussed before due to uh, non-zero current coil resistance and non-infinite voltage coil uh, resistance. Okay. So, those small errors we will ignore now and we will also uh, I may sometimes forget this, this plus minus convention etcetera. Uh, so, ignoring these small facts, uh, let us let us see uh, three phase watt meter connection. So, three phase watt meter for that we need a three phase load and a three phase supply. Say this is a three phase supply and there is a three phase load uh, which is like this. Let me take a star connected load, it can also be a delta connected load. Okay, so, it will be connected like this, this supply to this phase, this to this and this to this. Okay, so, this is a three phase supply. Okay, let me let me also draw a generator, three phase generator. And this is a three phase load. Now we want to measure the power consumed either by this uh, load or supplied by the source which will be approximately equal if we ignored the small losses elsewhere in the line in the meters that we will connect. So, we will ignore those small uh, losses okay. for now we will ignore. So, now to measure the this total power what we have to measure we have to measure the product of this volt voltage and this the current through this. Okay. So, let us give some names. Uh, phase A, phase B, phase C. Okay. So, this current I will call I C, this current I will call I B and this current I A and the voltage. So, if this is the neutral reference point. Okay. So, this is the reference point. As this is also you can think as the reference um, point ignoring the drops in the line etcetera. Uh, so, this is a three phase three where. So, this is a three phase three where connection. Okay. Now, we can also have a neutral So, this is the neutral line. Okay. Uh, so, let us start with this three phase four wire first. 
so three phase four wire connection we want to measure this power okay so what we have to do once again this current time this voltage which voltage this voltage vc okay and i i i can put a plus minus sign so this indicates the chosen reference for measuring this voltage okay uh, so similarly this is vb between the neutral and the b phase and similarly we will have here va between the neutral and the life phase a this is plus side this is the reference minus side okay so now to measure these three powers i can use three watt meters so let me take three watt meters so this is watt meter 1 and so with this i will measure say the power in this phase okay so it will have two coils okay so i have to measure this current and this voltage now to measure this current i will disconnect this and put this current coil in series so this is the current coil cc and the volt for the voltage coil let me put the voltage coil across this this live c phase and the neutral okay ignoring the uh, small current going through this pressure coil once again okay, ignoring those small prob, uh, errors and uh, yeah and okay so this is one watt meter which will measure the power consumed by this call it w1 similarly i can have another word another watt meter uh, say w2 it will have two coils once again let this be the current coil and i want to measure the power consumed by this so what i do i open it connect it here like this and this is the pressure coil so i want to measure the voltage from here to here so i put one side to the neutral another side to the to this okay so now similarly i want to measure the power in this a phase so let's take another watt meter call this w2 call this one w3 okay so another watt meter this is current coil let this be the pressure coil this is w3 now the current coil i'll insert in series to measure the current ia and this i will insert in parallel so one side to the live another side to the neutral okay so i can connect it here or maybe here to this neutral side okay this is the neutral line so this is this this is the three uh, three phase three watt meter method okay now there is another method which uh, is called three phase two watt meter method okay uh, now let's see another method which we will call three phase two watt meter method so let me draw uh, once again uh, the source three phase so this is the three phase source and let me draw a three phase load now this time we should not have 
the neutral okay we do not have the neutral line so this is important this is very important we should not have this uh, neutral line in this method and now the way to connect uh, the two watt meters is as follows okay so we'll have two watt meters Now the two watt meters are like this. They will have their current coils and the voltage coils. Call this current coil, voltage coil, uh, current coil, voltage coil. Okay. So what we have to do? We have to measure the current of current in two phases. Okay. So there are three phases, three lines. We have to measure two line currents. Okay, so we have to measure two line currents. So say we are going to measure these two line currents, this one and this one. So we are measuring these two line currents. Call it I A. And uh, if this is A, this is B, this is C. Okay, Call, then this is uh, I C. So you are measuring I A and I C with two watt meters, and the voltage coil. They will measure the voltage between the corresponding, say, line. So this is measuring line current in phase. Uh, so C line current C. So we'll measure the voltage between C and the unused, which is the B, the unused line. So this will measure the voltage between the corresponding uh, line and the unused one. The corresponding line means here it's C. The current coil is in C phase, so, and the Pressure coil, therefore, will go between C and B, which is not used. Similarly, here also, this to this should be connected to this one side to the corresponding uh, li line, another side to the unused line B. Okay. This is how to connect. So this is a, a two watt meter. To get uh, the power measured in these three phases. So now, if I call this W1 and this W2, then W1 plus W2 with appropriate sign, with proper sign. Okay, their reading can be negative. Gives total power in three phases. Okay, so previously in the three watt meter method, to get the total power, we needed W1 plus W2 plus W3. So here W1 plus W2 plus W3, this was the total power. Now, in this new circuit, W1 plus W2, this will give the total power. How? Is it not surprising the previous? one was quite obvious because this watt meter was directly measuring this voltage into this current this was also measuring this voltage into this current so they were measuring individual phase powers so that this was quite obvious but now uh, how is it so that w1 plus w2 is the total power what this watt meter is measuring this is measuring this current multiplied by this voltage uh, what does it give? I mean, what 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 is what this is equal to? Okay, so let's understand how is it true that W one plus W two is equal to the total power? 
Okay. Now the reading of W1. Okay. So W1 plus W2. Now W1 is the reading of W1. So W1 we can write this as uh, this current IA multiplied by this voltage okay which is v a b voltage between a and b so this is w1 okay and w2 this will be this current ic multiplied by this voltage c to b okay now by this I mean IA, VAB means voltage of A minus voltage of B. Plus here we can write IC multiplied by VC minus VB. Okay. So then what we have? We have IA VA, IA VA minus i a v b this term plus i c v c okay what is v c or what is v a v a is basically the voltage from here to here from this point to the neutral so this is the reference point zero zero volt this is v a this is v b this is v c okay this is zero volt this is VA, this is VB, this is VC and VAB is this voltage from here to here okay with this side taken as the positive reference this side as the negative reference because we are subtracting VA minus VB. So VAB according to our chosen convention is VA minus VB okay. So, yeah, so there will be one more term IC VB. Right? So now let's rewrite this as IA VA this, then this term I will write plus IC VC. And then these two terms, this and this, I will write together. So see VB is common. So I can write minus VB common, then IA plus I C. Okay. Now we can write in place of I A I C we write this as minus I B. Why? Because since I I A plus I B plus I C is equal to 0 because we do not have the fourth wire, we do not have the neutral wire, therefore the sum of these three currents should be 0, this is KCL, so this is the KCL and therefore I B is nothing but minus I A plus minus I C, so I can write it like this, so therefore then this becomes I A V A plus I C V C plus I B V B. This is the power in, in this phase, this is the power in this phase, this is the power in this phase. So, this is the total power. So, you see the magic or the uh, math that we have only two watt meters which are reading these two quantities. Okay. So, remember how to connect the two watt meters, this is something you have to remember. Okay. There are some things that you have to remember, uh, how to connect it, connect two current coils in any two lines, any two lines and connect the two voltage coils between those two lines and the other unused remaining line. So, this is, so remember how to connect it and then this derivation is straightforward. Okay. Okay. So, this is called th three phase two watt meter method and will this method work if we have the uh, neutral line? 
So question. Will this method work for three phase four wire connection? Think. And now I am giving you the answer. The answer is no. Why? Because if I have the fourth wire, if I have a fourth wire, okay, then I A plus I B plus I C will be same as the I N, the neutral current, which need not be equal to 0. Not necessary that this is 0, if I have a fourth wire. If I do not have the fourth wire, then there is no fourth current. So, then this is of course 0, then this derivation is true. But if I have a fourth wire, then this is not true. But yes, of course, you may say that if the load is perfectly balanced, uh, then even if we have a neutral wire, then yes, then this that this method will work. But if there is any unbalanced load, any uh, unbalance uh, between these loads, then with four wire, with the fourth wire, uh, this method will not work. Okay, now. Of course, last small thing before I conclude, but this is once again a bit more detail, more detail uh, which you may ignore, but this is required in practice. So, so let us go back to this uh, convention of plus minus. Okay. So, suppose if these meters have plus minus signs uh, uh, beside their current and voltage coil, then how should we connect it? Okay? So, we should connect it in such a way so that if the plus minus side is here, okay, then I should have the plus minus sign here. Okay? Because I am measuring, see this current in this derivation also you see, I am measuring this current and the voltage V A minus, uh, sorry this is for this watt meter. So, I am measuring this I C and V C minus V B. Okay? So, if I C is now positive, you also see this V C minus V B is also taken like this. I mean, So, if I have this plus minus sign here, let me repeat in a different language. If I have the plus minus sign here, then this is measure this this coil is measuring this voltage minus this voltage which is vc minus vb and similarly if i have this plus minus sign here it is measuring this current ic if i by mistake had the plus minus sign here then it is actually measuring minus ic so the reading of w2 will be opposite than expected okay so this should be here Similarly, think of it, if I have say the plus minus sign uh, here, okay? so the current is entering through the plus minus sign according to the chosen reference, here also I should have the plus minus side on this side, okay? from this to this. So, that this is measuring V A minus V B. Why this is so important? Because in two watt meter methods, as I already have mentioned, this W1 plus W2 with proper sign, with appropriate sign, only gives the total power. Okay? So, the reading of these meters can come out to be negative. Okay? If you connect in this way, the reading of this meter can come out to be negative. That will depend on a lot of things like uh, the the angle of the load angle uh, uh, of these loads. Okay, so this can be negative. If it is negative, you have to add W one with that negative value only. Okay, so we will take some examples uh, in a 
in another class. So therefore, the this plus minus sign is important. How I, how I have decided this plus minus sign? Summarizing again, I am taking here w1 to be ia times va minus vb. And if I choose ia in this direction, okay, from left to right, then I should have plus minus here and va minus vb. So, I should have plus minus on the va side, positive side and nothing on the other side. Okay. So, we can have other symbols instead of this plus minus. So, think of this and uh, as, I, as I do, I, I, I put the reference sections from which you need to study these things in, in the book. So, in the book also you uh, check these symbol conventions and these uh, small details. Thank you.